In today's video, we are going to talk about the ANA panel, or you might know it as the arthritis panel. Hi, I'm Dee. I'm both a rheumatology nurse and a rheumatology patient making weekly videos. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so that way you don't miss any of my videos. So with that out of the way, let's get started on the video. As I said in my previous rheumatology lab video, there are a lot of labs when it comes to dealing with rheumatology. And one of the most common ones is going to be the arthritis panel. I'm just gonna call it the ANA. The ANA panel looks for autoantibodies. Now, to be clear, this is separate from rheumatoid factor. Rheumatoid factor is a separate test that the doctor has to order from the ANA panel. And if you wanna know more about rheumatoid factor, I will leave a card for the previous video somewhere around here that goes over rheumatoid factor. There are two parts to ANA panel testing as far as what they do in the lab. You don't have to give blood twice. The first part is they look to see if it's negative or positive. If it's negative, they don't have to look any further. If the ANA comes back positive, they're going to look and see, okay, what is specifically positive? After that initial positive, it's gonna take that same blood and it's going to run a test to see if you have any of these autoantibodies that pop up in rheumatology autoimmune type things. And certain autoantibodies essentially are seen in certain other illnesses over another. Now, just because your ANA is positive, that does not mean you have anything autoimmune going on because there are plenty of healthy people who have a weekly positive ANA going on. What, that's why the, the doctor has to look at the entire picture, your symptoms, any scans, and all your other blood work to come to a conclusion as to whether or not this could be autoimmune or not. So don't immediately panic that you have a positive ANA. It does not mean that you automatically have something autoimmune. This ANA panel is something that you can have your primary care provider order ahead of time along with the rheumatoid factor. So when you go and see the rheumatologist for the first time, that first visit they can tell you exactly what those results mean as long as you have those results with you. Now I also want to point out that negative results doesn't mean that there's nothing autoimmune going on. There is a such thing as it's called seronegative and then insert the name of the disease here. It's not as common, but there are some people who have autoimmune conditions going on, but they don't have those autoantibodies. So the main takeaways that I want you to take away from the ANA panels that it's something that you can have your provider order before you see the rheumatologist for the first time. It will likely be ordered a second time just to check Numbers don't correlate with your disease getting better or worse. So it is only if you used to diagnose. Just because it's positive, it does not mean that you have something wrong with you. It can be mildly positive in healthy people. And if you have any questions about any of these autoantibodies, always just ask your rheumatologist. They are the experts at reading those and telling you what they think. Also keep in mind that just because it's negative, it doesn't mean that there's nothing autoimmune going on, especially if you're having symptoms that are really screaming autoimmune thing going on here. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I would love your feedback on this one because the a a panel is one of the most, I personally think, confusing labs to explain. If you found this information helpful, be sure to share this video with other people. The more interaction that I get on my videos, the more that the YouTube will push this information out to other people. That's how their algorithm works. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.